Y'all ready? Let's go. You won't need it. <laughs> right, because at the end of the day, you're going to be interactive. Somebody asked my question for me. What do you think a book is? Book. What is a book? Story. Story. It's your personal business card. What? Your personal business card. You're in the marketing or something. <laughs> Business card. Don't steal my man's thunder back there, right? <laughs> awesome. New business card, right? What else? It's an opportunity. Opportunity, this three. Opportunity is a great name, by the way. It is a great name. Read and read. 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 I love it. Go read a book, man. Read and read. <laughs>
So when no, so when people searching my name, guess what? It comes up. Yeah. Another thing that comes up with my name. Yeah. And guess what? Because I have a podcast related to my niche, guess what? It's on Audible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I will never forget this stranger came up to me and he said, ma'am, I don't know you, but I want to tell you this. I love you. And I know someone else loves you, and you matter. And he said, what I'm going to do is call you a cab. You have a place to go. And I told him I did. He said, I'm going to call you a cab. When the cab gets here, tell him where you, where you need to go, and we got you covered. Now, I still had a long journey ahead of me of healing and processing everything that was going on. But in that moment, I realized the power of words. See, this man's words healed me. He was a complete stranger. But it started the path of my personal story and my personal recovery. And it actually, all these years later, that experience was one of the things that started me on the work that I do and helped create my mission to honor, empower, and refresh. <laughs> I didn't talk to him about that, but I did talk to him about getting my makeup done. <laughs> right? Contacts, you know, and I just I had just registered to go do my doctorate, mm -hmm. and my children stopped me and said, "Before you get that doctorate, to your book and read this book." Awesome. So here I am. I just want to say something. Perhaps your book will be your doctorate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's drop the mic, Dr. the old guy. Wow. kind of surface, and most people do the surface stuff. When you read the surface stuff, you're going to get 30% of the information because it actually is a workbook. You're going to get 30% of the information. 30% is still enough to be dangerous. You know, they said back in the days in the United States history for slaves, it was like cost two-thirds of a man. Okay, that was dangerous. It unlocks us. To get 50% more, which is a total of 80% of the book, you actually have to become vulnerable and do the deep work inside the book to release that information. The reason I wrote it that way is every narcissistic person is not willing to go deep. I invested 40 grand with him so I can get Kevin. But now we wrote a book which is going to earn me millions. Was that a good return on investment? Yes. You think when I was looking at an investment when they made it an offer, I was uncomfortable? Yes. Did I do it anyway? Now Kevin is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> They're more worried about being holy and righteous than doing what God sent us here to do. Do you know what he sent us here to do? Two things. Only two things. Manage and lead. That's it.
exciting. <laughs> we got some good stuff. We got cheese and cracker flour. <laughs> <laughs>
this country gone. It came out of West Africa, Liberia, Monrovia, capital. And all of what you deserve, what you're doing, and we're proud of you. And sometimes we gotta turn around and tell someone that we love you. And this is it. This represents you and the work you and Vienna have put into what you're doing. And we're proud of you from Olga and I. <laughs> Dr. T, now I can tell you, you are an elegant book. Appreciate you, sir. This is not the first time I've worked with Oliver and Miata. The daughter graduated a couple of years ago, and she was able to invite me to Caleb the graduation party. And sometimes spiritually, you meet someone from nowhere, and you guys just wait. Like in this room today, there was so much love, and you could feel it and taste it in the food. Yes. And to all of you, let's keep doing, let's keep going, let's keep pushing. You know, life is just a journey. But we gotta get up in the morning when God wakes you up and push forward. So I'm gonna have my book out. I'll see you in the top. <laughs> Thank you.